Okay, how are you doing? I'm just going to do a quick video showing you my YARVR2 set up with my Next Level Racing GT Elite rig. Um, I didn't think it would work, but it actually does, and it's the bomb for what it is. So let me just start up a game. Bear with me. A set of Corsa in VR. Right, that should be loading up now. Okay. Make sure it's all good. Right. So I've got Sim Racing Studio all rigged up. We're going to go on Pana, Panorama, Mount Panorama. Okay, just put my, load my settings. Start race. Okay. Oh. I just had a warm up and I and I crashed. The steering wheel was upside down. Right. So I've got this um, set up. So obviously I can feel the tilt and the pitch when I accelerate and brake. Um, lateral G is set for going around corners to make it sway on the roll. And then the roll is actually linked up to the actual car crashing. Sneak in there. Oh. Try not to hit anyone. Everyone bunched up. Can I get in the middle? I don't want to hit anyone. Oh, this is... Oh, <laughs> this is tight. Oh, my God, right. Oh, right. Oh, you can see I'm getting knocked about. Oh, let's go. Oh, it's all gone wrong. Oh. My car is boxed. We're not really gonna get far. Alright, so <laughs> let me let me start this again. But at least you could see the effect that I was getting out of it. Um, right, restart. That was crazy. But, right, let's get my settings back again. I'm pretty sure that that wasn't my fault. Right. Going double five. Right, here we go. So the um, next level frame, the GT Elite, it is actually quite heavy, um, but the yard chair seems to just handle it with ease. Car on the right, clear on the right. Snuck in nicely that time. Car on the right. Right, so again, um, let me explain what I'm getting here. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling all the bumps in the road. 
I'm getting the elevation of the the road as well. So I can feel all the bumps. The contours. All the dips. So when I'm going um, up and down a hill, when I'm going down this hill for instance, I can still brake and feel an effect. Um, so the car, the platform's not maxed out, tilted forward when you're going down the hill. So you've always got that little bit of braking effect, which is awesome. Uh, obviously it's tilting back as I'm going up the hill. Oh, got some dips there. Again there. Yeah, hard on the brake. Right. Right. Oh, I um, felt the back end slide out there, which I felt through the chair perfectly. I can feel the engine through the chair. It's actually, uh, obviously curbs, rumble strips. I can feel all the little dips in, in the road, which is um, enhanced by the steering wheel force feedback as well. This little DD Pro is amazing. Um, and it's perfect for this setup as well, um, being quite lightweight. You know, so the uh, a lot of the other like top tier steering wheels um, are going to add a lot of weight. So, like the entry level stuff, DD Pro, CSL, um, is it the Moser that's just come out? Maybe a Thrustmaster's new DD drive wheel. They're all quite ent they're entry level, so. They're all gonna um, not have as much weight to them as the other high-end gear setups. So yeah, I mean, this um, motion sim racing entry-level gear. And th this is working fantastic. we go up here I've got it tuned up um, quite subtle so you know uh, tinkering around in in a sim racing studio you don't want the car effects too prominent you don't want to be thrown around unrealistically so you, you know it's taking me a little while to get it tuned up just how I like it where I feel it's um, just right you know, it's not too under, it's not too over with the motion. Oh, the um, safety rating's gone back up to 60. It went down to 59 for that massive crash, that first attempt. But yeah, I can feel all the contours, the dips, The hard braking, the sway, the G-force, going around corners. I can feel the traction. The rumble of the road is just built in through lovely oh. Oh.
like here you can see I'm going down if I put the brake on I get that extra little tilt so it really does translate through and give you an awesome sensation of going up and down hill and around the corners this guy in front uh, seems a bit Dodgy. I really do feel myself getting thrown around in the car. It's so awesome. Being in VR in this setup is absolutely brilliant. Oh, pushed it too much. He's around somewhere. There he is. Oh, oh. Did not like me trying to pass then. Can I get round? No. Oh. Squeezed me out again. <clears throat> Up into third. So racing around this track as well, um, when you're going up and down the hills, especially the one that we just went past, um, it makes you, it gives you butterflies as well in your stomach. Your stomach you can feel raising up as you're going over. Okay. Last lap. Well, 207. Not looking what I'm doing. I was hoping to get first. Might be able to get second. out around that corner we get another knife to ease off a little bit a little bit of contact twice he wouldn't let me go the AI in this game are aggressive play really dirty. Right, let's see if I can get this last little stretch out of the way. There we go. Second. Hopefully second.
So I go, I'm going to take him out. I'm going to take him out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. But yeah, you see the impact then. The <clears throat> safety score's gone down. There you go. Um, that's it. The R2 platform coupled with a GT Elite frame working absolutely awesome. And that's it. There we go. So, hope you enjoyed watching that. Get an idea of how this is all working with this frame. Um, it's absolutely solid, solid as a rock. Yeah. Alright, thanks for watching, see you later.